A star-studded celebration of Canadian music hit the high notes at the SoCan Awards last night, and Entertainment City was there for it all. The Canadian music industry took over the red carpet to honor our country's biggest and brightest music creators. BC native and pop sweetheart Carly Rae Jepsen picked up the International Achievement Award for her worldwide hit, Call Me Maybe. To be a part of it is incredibly exciting to me. I think I've been dreaming of being considered a songwriter since I was about 17 years old and I picked up my first guitar. Canadian legend Gordon Lightfoot was handed a Lifetime Achievement Award. You look studly, by the way. Well, thank you very much. It's a special occasion. What do you think is the key to your longevity? It's probably got something to do with the, basically with the output that, that I've been able to, to come up with. One of the most uh, prolific Canadian writers of all time. I look at something like that. You're just like, dude, I want to be like you when I grow up. Also among the honorees, Toronto's own Drake. Jersey won the inaugural Global Inspiration Award for his skyrocketing success. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team. What's it like to have an organization like this that protects what a lot of people think are, are the little guys in music? Extremely selfless organization, protecting the authors, the composers, the writers, the songwriters. You know, I, I honestly couldn't do what I do if they weren't there. A welcome fit for a first lady as Hillary Clinton brought her star power north of the border yesterday, stopping by Toronto to promote her memoir, Hard Choices. I write about some of my biggest regrets, and I obviously have a few, as well as some of my proudest moments. Clinton also took time to greet her fans and give us a little tease about whether or not she'll be running in the 2016 presidential election. If a female president was in the White House, what would her husband be called? <laughs> <laughs> Well, speaking hypothetically, <laughs> there have been a number of suggestions, everything from first man to first mate. As a possible felony charge looms closer for Justin Bieber in that infamous egging incident, the singer has been cleared of another legal woe. The Beebs has been completely cleared in an alleged attempted robbery case. Last month, a woman reported Justin tried to steal her cell phone at a batting cage in the San Fernando Valley. Turns out, nine witnesses say that the woman made it all up, which means the Beebs is off the hook and off to work. The singer posted this photo of himself and Chris Brown along with the caption, Studio, me and CB did one for the fans. It seems their multiple run-ins with the law have bonded them, although this isn't the first time they've made music together. But it is the first sign that Breezy is getting back to work since being released from jail earlier this month. Tracy Morgan is on the mend. The comedian's condition has now been upgraded to fair. Morgan had been in critical condition after a six-vehicle crash on the New Jersey Turnpike more than a week ago. Another comedian was killed in the crash. That's great to hear that Tracy's getting better, and we obviously wish him a speedy recovery. But what do you think about Justin Bieber and Chris Brown working together? Good idea or not? Tweet us at NCity.